The other day, I talked about one of the worst gym videos on the entire internet, where a woman recorded a man in the background, lied about him, threatened him with immense physical violence, and even seemingly attempted to incite others to attack him as well. Consider watching the full video for yourself if you haven't seen that one. I'll link it in the description. It's only about three minutes long. She received immense backlash for what she did. However, things have since gotten even worse for her, which we'll talk about in this video. In an update provided by Joey Swole, he says her membership has been canceled. So the immense backlash that this woman got has made it to the gym, and they took action against her. I don't blame them for not wanting her there at all. I mean, she seems like a danger to the other members of the gym. Previously, Joey also said that if anyone recognizes the man who she targeted, that he's already talked to his lawyer, and he said that he would happily take care of this for him. Keeping that in mind, and going back to the update tweet from Joey, it doesn't end there. As he says, For those saying he can't take legal action, here's the response directly from my lawyer. Two things. One, he would be able to fairly easily sue her in civil court for defamation and harassment. Two, although he can't personally force criminal charges on her, her stating that she would put him in the hospital is a very real and legitimate threat that can be subject to criminal prosecution. However, this would first require him to make a police report regarding her video and her threat of doing bodily harm. Then it would be up to the county slash district prosecutor to determine whether criminal charges are brought. The short of it is, he could easily sue her in civil court for defamation and potentially harassment, but criminal charges would be brought by the county slash district prosecutor. My hope is that she sincerely apologizes and understands how much damage this has done to him, his wife, his family, and that if we didn't support and defend him, the potential damage this could have further done includes losing his job and being a service member in the Navy. You can ruin someone's life this way. Well, as it stands so far, going back to Instagram, it seems like Jane's response to all of this has been privating her account. So she better be hoping that the gentleman does not decide to move forward civilly or even filing that police report against her, especially if she might have a criminal record already. Ultimately, this was a completely unnecessary situation that she put herself in. And let me know what you think about all of that in the comments. I'll leave it there. As always, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this segment, consider liking and or subscribing. I appreciate your support, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.